Welcome along, fellow time travelers and strange historians. This time around, we're going to travel back in time to check out some of my favorite photos of historic rock and pop star mansions. You're going to see some really cool snaps, some of which you may have never seen before. Before I begin, please like and share this episode and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now please join me around the campfire. This is Eric Clapton. Is there any chance in the world you don't know who that is? Probably not. But there might be some people who don't know, and so let me just say that Eric Clapton is a highly influential British rock and blues guitarist, a singer, and a songwriter. And of course, he's widely regarded as being one of the greatest guitarists in the history of rock music. This is Hurtwood Edge. I think Mr. Clapton bought it either in late 1968 or early 1969 because he was living there by the spring of 1969. As you can see, it is an Italian villa-style country house. It was built in 1910. Herwood Edge is located about 30 miles southwest of London. The house is included on the British listed buildings website. By the way, Herwood Edge is located about 49 miles from Henley-on-Thames. I mention that because Henley is the location of Friar Park, the home of George Harrison and Patty Boyd, when Eric Clapton used to go visit there. But of course, Hurtwood Edge has had its share of famous visitors as well, including Mark Bolin and members of Derek and the Dominoes. Also among the many friends of Mr. Clapton who would visit included George Harrison who said, One day I decided I was going to sag off Apple and I went over to Eric Clapton's house. The relief of not having to go see all those dopey accountants was wonderful. And I walked around the garden with one of Eric's acoustic guitars and wrote, Here Comes the Sun. End quote. That's pretty cool, right? Did you know that? Did you know the song Here Comes the Sun was written in Eric Clapton's garden? Eric Clapton said the following, quote, He was just a magical guy, and he would show up, get out of the car with his guitar, and come in and start playing. End quote. He also added, quote, I just watched this thing come to life. I felt very proud that it was my garden that was inspiring it. It was a beautiful spring morning, and we were sitting at the top of a big field at the bottom of the garden. We had our guitars and were just strumming away when he started singing. And bit by bit, he fleshed it out, end quote. The two-story house is constructed of sandstone blocks and tile roof with a lead roof over the porch. There is a colored stone paved terrace across the front of the house. Now, if you want to learn more about life at Hurtwood Edge, you should check out the book Miss O'Dell, written by Chris O'Dell, and also Wonderful Tonight by Patty Boyd. Both ladies are absolutely brilliant and their books are filled to the brim with fantastic stories that are certainly worth reading. So, what do you think of Hurtwood Edge? If you were rolling in dough, would you buy and live in a place like that? I gotta tell you, I think I would. The house is incredible, and the view is even more incredible. By the way, I don't know who took some of the photos that I have shown in this show. So if you do, please let me know so I can respectfully give them the credit that they deserve. At this point, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this time travel adventure to check out some of my favorite photos of historic mansions owned by rock and pop stars. If you want to see more like this, please let me know in the comments below. You could even ask me about specific homes and photos that you'd like for me to discuss. Kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell because there will be more videos like this one and I hope you check those out too. Please check out the links below to learn how to support my research and productions. Specifically, I'd really appreciate it if you could become a member of my channel and or join me on Patreon. You could also leave a super thanks in the comments below. Kindly be kind to all non-human animals and please don't eat them, they don't like that. Remember, for the benefit of compassion for all living things and their own health, all of the beetles chose a plant-based diet. And please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time! I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.